Swatkan is bringing something special to this year's Minto Cup, wooden lacrosse sticks he hand-designed. The wood sticks are very valued. There's a deep connection to Mother Earth and the wood, which we receive and transform a new life into the wood stick. So there's a deeper connection to lacrosse for Indigenous Native people. The lacrosse sticks will be awarded to three MVPs at this year's tournament in Coquitlam. When you first start to play the game, you learn where it came from. So to see sticks that are made now that would have been very much the same as what they used to settle their differences between cultures and clans and things like that, it's, it's pretty amazing. It gives me goosebumps. Lacrosse is more than just a sport for many indigenous communities. For people like Swatkan, this fast-paced game is a sacred game, played by indigenous people for thousands of years. Lacrosse has been around in our community for years, and it's, it's great to be a part of the cultural connection to lacrosse. Although it's unclear when exactly lacrosse started, the sport has a long history with the National Lacrosse Association of Canada taking form in the 1860s. This junior team's been here for since the 70s and you know we're just keeping it keeping it going strong. It's just becoming more recognized, I guess, globally. For the first time in 80 years, lacrosse will be played at Olympic Games in Los Angeles in 2028. Many of these players working towards their chance to compete on an international stage. Growing up in Coquitlam, lacrosse has always been a huge part of kind of our identity here. Uh, we have a fantastic minor program that's produced a lot of, of great athletes that are performing at the professional level now. Swatkin himself, once a competitive lacrosse player, says being able to share his art at this year's Minto Cup has been a way for him to celebrate his love of the game and his culture. Sorab Sanu, CBC News, Coquitlam.